Sometimes you want to interact with your code in a session where you can kind of play with it. One way you can do that is with the Kotlin REPL, which is a read eval print loop. And to do that, again, that's through tools, Kotlin, Kotlin REPL. And once everything is loaded, then you can start typing code into here. So for example, let's assume that we wanted to go ahead and build a string. So we say val name equals Don. And then I use command enter to enter it into a new line. I can say name.length. Command line, it'll tell me it's a integer, it's four characters long. I can do other things such as name.substring. And I'll get the nice IntelliSense in here or code completion. And we go with the first character there is D. I can also use, for example, some of the classes I have. I have a customer class here, which is a data class. I can use that inside of my REPL because it was loaded. So I can say customer. So I can go down, tab. And what will happen is you'll see it actually imported customer there for me. And so I'm going to say val customer equals customer Don, enter. And so I had to import it because if I don't import it, it won't know about it inside of the REPL. So I can say customer, and if I hit enter on a customer, it'll tell me the type of the customer and then what the two string value is. And so I can say customer.name. I can also do customer.name.initials. Now notice this, I'm actually calling in a, a um, extension function that I have. It's called initials. And we got an, we have a, an exception there. And the reason why we got an exception is because the string value of customer, it does not have a, a space in it. So if I were to redefine my customer, so we'd do another customer, customer two equals, I would provide my full name with a space, then the initials function would work. And I didn't tell it to execute yet. I just press the line, the enter. And I can say initial customer two dot name dot initials. Now if I enter here, we'll see that it does execute properly. So you can actually interact and do all different types of things inside of the Kotlin REPL. And again, that's accessed via the tools, Kotlin, Kotlin REPL. So it's a good place to come around and play around with some, some code that you're maybe testing, trying to figure out if it's going to work or not. Maybe you're trying to understand a certain uh, interaction with the library and you don't want to fire up an application. The REPL is a great place where you can do that. And when you're done, you can go ahead and over here and hit the close button and then you're out of the REPL.